welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. Uh, today we're going, the topic of the day is about uh, fifth dimension. A lot of people um, in spiritual community, they're talking about that uh, right now humanity on a verge of uh, transcending to fifth dimension, to fifth dimensional consciousness. And uh, it's on the horizon of our evolution, and that is what's going on. Uh, but I'm going to get into this and explain it in details. The people believe or they think that by entering into the fifth dimensional consciousness, um, you can still carry your old ways with you. And as if fifth dimension is a geographical place, and by entering into the fifth dimensional consciousness, You can hang on to everything you have, but they, they view it as a utopian kind of a lifestyle that we're entering into uh, a world that everything's in it in, is perfect. And so we just evolve into this. But what's being really missed is the misunderstanding of what is it we're looking for by entering into fifth dimension. Thinking that you can have your old patterns, you can have your Tesla, you can have your house here and your vacation home in uh, Spain and your 401k and your savings and everything and and um, your business and you do whatever you're doing and then you just everything is exactly the way it is but now you have transformed into a utopian lifestyle and in this utopian life, lifestyle you know, it's all brotherly love and everything goes right and there is no sickness and there's no disease and um, there's politically or uh, everything is just fine the way, the way they're imagining it to be. So it's kind of a, an image of this life without the bad stuff. So you only have the good stuff from this life. But nothing else. So, but it's just, that's not how it is, simply. Because in order to reach a higher level of consciousness, you have to let go of something. Something that doesn't work in a higher level of consciousness. And, and that's you. We, we have to get rid of you in order to enter into this other level. The idea of you cannot be there. Because that's the very problem. The idea of who you think you are is the very problem. So now entering into fifth dimension without you. And you may be thinking, okay, how can I arrive in this level of consciousness without me? Well, that me is what's the prob what is the problem and is holding you back. Because fifth dimension 
and fifth dimensional consciousness is not a geographical place on the map that you go to. It's a shift. In, it's an expansion. It's a shift of your view. That's how you perceive things. Your perception starts to change. But that's with anything in the spiritual world, spiritual work. It's a perception. It's an expansion in your opening your mind to a new way, opening, going beyond what you're imagining. Your imagination of this utopian state is a, a product of your mind. Your mind is creating it. So you're imagining of a place outside of here, something which is, in your point of view, is perfect. Examine it. Check it out for yourself right now. Don't take my word. Just right now, take a moment and imagine fifth dimension. And you will see that your mind is constructing an idea of something that is appealing to you. Something that, in your opinion, is there's harmony in it. Everything is good. And that, in your imagination, is fifth dimension. Am I making any sense? Does it, does it, does anyone, you're with me, right? So again, we are imagining of something with our thinking mind of a certain type of lifestyle that's to our, to our image, that in that life, everything goes right. Again, everything goes right for you. And you're very happy. Why you're happy? Because everything is the way you want it to be. You understand? You get it? So, but that's not how it is. Because you are still there. Or the idea of you, which is a thought, that separates you from that which you want, it's still there. So, in order to reach this state of consciousness, we have to get rid of you. Sorry. So then you may say, well, is it, then if you're going to get rid of me, then how do we get to this place? How do I reap the benefits and the fruits of, of this place? Well, let's understand. Let's find out what is fifth dimension. These different levels and this uh, states of consciousness, it's an expansion and in an explosion that has taken inside you that you have expanded, you have opened up to a much bigger part of yourself in this realization to realize your, the vastness of the being. How vast is the being? How vast? And in, in that vastness, it cannot be contained, it can't be understood by the thinking mind, because the thinking mind is still limited. It's thinking through this box. It's got limitations. The mind can understand the infinite. What's infinity? 